Welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. This week's project is a little bit different. We're going bowling. About a year or so ago, I saw Carl Jacobson turn a bowling ball, and I was completely fascinated with this idea. And ever since then, a few other people have done it, and I figured, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. I would just like to give a huge shout out to whoever thought this was a good idea, because who would have thunk a freaking bowling ball? Wowzers. As you can see in the shot here, I have the bowling ball mounted between centers with the Carter Products M Chuck system. And these are the large chucks that you have to buy separately from the M Chuck Live Center kits. <laughs> It is not lost on me that you could make the same functional thing out of two pieces of wood, but I kind of bought these when I was still fairly new to turning and didn't realize that at the time. And so now I have these, so I might as well use them. And I must say, they worked pretty well. I'd love to be able to tell you that this bowling ball holds great sentimental value and was passed along from generation to generation within our family. But alas, that is not the case. I got this from our local Deseret Industries, which is the Utah version of Goodwill. And big shout out to Tina. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Who graciously, quote unquote, donated her bowling ball to my new cause. Because I wanted to turn a bowling ball fail. <laughs> okay, no one thinks I'm funnier than me, but whatever, doesn't matter. In all seriousness, though, in this scene, I'm just truing up the bowling ball, getting it centered as best I can. Here, I'm just using the skew chisel to kind of flatten any tool marks that might remain and get a more even finish on the bowling ball. And here, my camera kind of shut off again. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. One day I'll fix it. Probably not. But I used a parting tool and got as far down as I could with that. But it still took quite a bit of finagling, if you will, with the pole saw to get it to come off. I kind of quickly gave up on the chisel there because the stuff was so soft it just wouldn't chisel properly. <laughs> But the inside of a bowling ball is quite cool. I've never seen this before, and it was really fun to turn. I know I say in every single video, oh, it was like butter to turn, but it literally was like butter to turn. Like, you can see how fast turning the inside of this goes. It was so much fun. So here's where things got a little dicey. Uh, I wasn't sure where to stop cutting the bottom of this. Like I had a general idea from measuring it and whatnot. But I thought at some point I would hit resin again and it just never seemed to happen. So I kind of maybe shortcutted a little bit here because I got nervous that I was going to make a funnel out of this. Plus, I kind of had a cool vision here where if I left the inside of this with a little bit of the rubber intact, it would really make kind of a cool aesthetic on the bowl. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's the way I went with it. So if you don't like it, I guess that's fine. In this scene, I'm just using my easy wood tools to flatten up the bottom and round the edge of the bowl. And then we're on to the first round of sanding. <laughs> You'll notice kind of at the bottom of the bowl, 
there's a little divot where a piece chunked out while I was trying to flatten it. So I decided to coat the rubber part with epoxy as well as fill in the little piece that chunked out. And then once that dried, I sanded that down and then I did another layer of epoxy just so it was an even finish. So for me, wet sanding all through the grits is the best option, in my opinion. <laughs> it may work better for you to dry sand through like 600 or so and then do the wet sanding with the micro mesh or whatever, but for me, I like wet sanding the whole thing. It just seems to give it a better finish overall. All right, so we're getting kind of close to the end here. So I would like to just reiterate, I am very open to receiving stickers and or swapping stickers. So if you have a sticker that you'd like to send me, my address is in the about section. And feel free to reach out to me by email if you feel comfortable with that as well. And here I've just got it reverse mounted and I'm just making the foot of the bowl. Off camera, I just did one final layer of epoxy on that bottom part that's kind of showing through there just to kind of seal it up. Oh dang, she's getting shiny. And there you have it, a bowling ball bowl. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a treat to make it for you. I really enjoyed making this bowl, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'd like to give a huge shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you know when my new videos come out. Be sure to hit that like button and comment below. Stay awesome, everyone. Love to all.